Hey, my good friends, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. Recently, we had the chance to test drive the all new, well, not really all new, but recently refreshed Jeep Compass. And for 2023 and up, it has a new two liter four cylinder turbocharged engine. So we're gonna have a complete look under the hood, an outline of all the major technicals, as well as the do it yourself maintenance service points. Starting in 2023, the sole engine available in the Jeep Compass is a 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder. In this vehicle, it produces 200 horsepower and 221 pound-feet of torque, and it's mated to an 8-speed automatic transmission sourced from Hyundai. And it also features standard all-wheel drive on all models. Known internally as the Global Medium Engine, GME, it has an aluminum block with cast iron cylinder liners and an aluminum head. It features direct fuel injection, dual variable cam timing, and an automatic start-stop system. Its turbocharger is controlled by an electronically controlled wastegate, and intake charge cooling is handled by an air-to-water intercooler. While the Jeep Compass is manufactured in Mexico, the engine and transmission are both assembled in the United States. The layout of the engine compartment is a little bit unique with the turbocharger at the front of the engine in plain sight. Easy to burn your hands on. Then there's the air filter box, which actually sits high atop the engine itself, taking up the extra space afforded by the tall SUV profile. In that way, following the airflow, the intake charge starts through a snorkel at the top of the radiator and travels back into the large air filter box mounted on top of the engine. From there, it travels through an ornate plenum into the turbocharger itself. Once boosted, the intake charge travels up and to the rear of the engine, where it goes through an integral intake manifold with an air-to-water intercooler built in. It's hard to see, but it is back there. On top of the engine, you can see a couple of the spark plug coil packs, but most are hidden. This means that replacing the plugs is likely a day job as you'll need to remove at least the air filter box among other things to reach them all. Spent exhaust gases exit through the turbocharger at the front of the engine then directly down into the catalyst and exhaust system. There's a lot of heat shielding here for a reason. This gets extremely hot, so do watch your hands here. Do-it-yourself maintenance on the Jeep Compass begins with an oil dipstick at the front passenger side front of the engine with its bright yellow handle. Further back, you'll find the oil filler cap. The oil filter has to be accessed from below, however. There are two coolant reservoirs. One at the passenger side is for the intercooler system. The other at the driver side front is for the engine coolant. Brake fluid can be checked and topped off at the back driver side firewall. A bit of a task to get to it, but it is there. The 12 volt battery is located conveniently nearby with easy access. You can see the engine ECU next to the 12 volt battery, but it's typically not user serviceable. The main fuse box is to its right and can be opened easily by popping a couple of clips. A fuse removal tool can be found inside to make it all easier. Changing the air filter does require tools in about 15 minutes of your time. We have a separate how-to video on this linked below and at the end of the video. Well, there you have it, my friends, an underhood tour with a little bit of a technical outline on the 2-liter turbocharged engine under the hood of the Jeep Compass starting in 2023 and up. Now, we do have a test drive of this vehicle. You can see that on our partner channel, Test Driven TV. As I mentioned, we do have a video on how to change the filter, and you can see that right there as well as linked below. You can also subscribe to TDTV Garage right there. Either way, stay tuned.